Hey guys, how's it going? Creative Hero 2006, you're back on our review, and this time I am reviewing the Shazam action figure from the new movie, Shazam. Personally, I think this movie is going to be awesome, and there's so much stuff I want to discuss about this figure, so let's get into it. So here's Shazam out of the packaging, and this figure is actually surprisingly detailed and sculpted for being a basic figure, and the articulation is just what you would expect from a figure like him. But we're going to go on to Wrath first, the monster that Shazam comes with, and then we'll move on to Shazam himself. So here's Wrath, and actually he's really well sculpted. If you can see right there, he's in rage. He is yelling. I think he's really angry at Shazam. And this guy is made out of rubber or a rubbery material, and you can stretch him really far including the legs and the arms. You can see the spikes back here. The, those can also stretch. I believe this is one of the bad guys that Shazam is going to be fighting in the movie. Um, but it's really nice sculpted. Really nicely detailed. And if you take the arms up right here, you can see some muscle um, detail sculpted right there. And he has a lot of spikes on the back, so... Um, Shazam might want to be careful with that. And uh, the whole feature of this is to defeat Shazam, so... And to launch it. This is one of the power slingers that comes with um, all of the six figures in this wave. Um, so basically you just launch it and there it goes. Um, we'll try that one more time because that wasn't really good. But that was better. So yeah, that's the whole feature of Wrath. And he's actually pretty cool. So um, now let's move on to Shazam. I really like the face that Mattel has for the Shazam figure. It really looks like the actor from the movie. Um, you can see they even sculpted it on the hood. This actually doesn't even look like a basic figure to me. It would look more like a DC Multiverse figure, but you can see that there are two circles right there to hold the cape. The lightning emblem is painted yellow, surrounded by gold, and um, those there's um, lines right there in a suit that continue on to the arms. But one thing that is interesting to me is that there's this kind of square-ish pattern going on all around a suit. And it's even on the cape back here, which I really appreciate that. He doesn't have a cloth, a soft cloth cape, but I can, but I, it's more stiff, but I like it like that. Um, you can see that there's a lightning sculpted in the middle of his belt. Um, these are supposed to be red, but I get why they didn't add them. One thing that is interesting is that none of the Shazam Figures um, have the same wrist armor. I believe Freddy and Billy do have the same ones, but um, they're all different, I think. these um, The lines do continue onto the legs and to the side of the... Um, of the knees right there and um the boots they're all different in every shazam they all have the lightnings um on the side which i think is a really nice detail um shazams are pretty cool i think they're the most basic ones but you can see that there's a lot of detail sculpted there he does have peg holes at the bottom of his feet um and just in case you want to see what the back is there it is but uh now let's get on to the articulation so going over the articulation, his head can move side to side, his arms can move up and down, his arms can uh, go um, a 360, this can also uh, twist 360, um, he has a single jointed elbow, his, arm, uh, his hands do rotate and they do go up and it's kind of hard to get them to go down, but they do go down. Um, the torso or the waist does also swivel three, 360 degrees. The legs do go up. They will not go back because of how it's sculpted, but the knees do bent and he does have boot swivel. So overall, I really do appreciate this Shazam figure, especially the articulation. But comment down below what you thought of this video and this figure. Tell me if you like the Shazam movie when you see it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.